I'm back to brown hair. Hey everyone, Miranda here. So I am, I am, I am back. I'm kind of back now and now my new hair is here. You've probably all been noticing that there has been like gaps between videos. You know, there have been certain times where I just haven't been active on like Twitter and other social media accounts. It is because I have been so damn busy for reasons that I will explain in the update section of this video. But to begin with, I'm going to start off with wrapping up May for you. May was, um, May was not a good reading month at all. I'm going to be very straight up and honest and say I did not read anything except for Melissa Keel's new book, which I kind of read at the, at the conclusion of last month before the last wrap up. So um, it was not a good reading month. I got through nothing. That's okay. That's okay because next month now and with the birthday month and we're going away very soon, there will kind of be time to read kind of it's just finding the time nowadays is really really hard you probably noticed I got a little lapel mic which means a better audio after three years and the time has come and I'm improving on a few things um, because there's some things I want to talk to you about in this video that um that are, yeah that, 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 that have happened books that I hauled. So I got two packages in the mail which I thought I would do as unboxing unwrapping videos because I know how much people love them. First one is this and don't I love packaging actually. Actually I should have been better prepared. Okay I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Again. I'm getting there. So this is this book unboxing. Um, love it. It's so good. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So the book that I received, and this is from the lovely Bloomsbury. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. So it's Letters to the Lost. I think I've heard of this book. Yes, by Bridget Kimmerer. Kimmerer, Kimmerer, Kimmerer. <laughs> Juliet Young has always written letters to her mother. Even after her mother's death, she leaves the letters at her grave. It's the only thing that helps Juliet cope. Dicklin Murphy is the kind of tough guy you wouldn't want to cross, but while on community service doing landscaping at the local cemetery, he's haunted by ghosts of his own past. When Dicklin finds a letter left beside a grave, he can't resist writing back. Soon he is sharing his pain with the perfect stranger, except they're not strangers. And when real life interferes with their secret life of letters, Julian and Dicklin discover the truth that might tear them apart. Oh my god. That sounded like Anaconda. Oh my god. Look at it. Gigantic package. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna rip it from here. These packages are so annoying. You know why they're annoying? Because they leave heaps of like little shit all over the place. <gasps> oh my God, I got this book. Oh, oh my God. You had, oh my God. I did not realize this was my package in the mail. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god, this was a lot of shadows! <gasps> I got a lot of shadows! I didn't even realize this! I thought I wasn't going to get it! <gasps> and the lady did me this Oh my god! Oh my. Oh. I have just died! <gasps> I did not realize I was getting a lot of shadows! And it was in my. It, in this pack, the whole thing for a month. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! I have to really think. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It even comes with a. Look at this! Is there anything else in here? I have to do a big major thank you post to Simon Schuster for sending me this. This is thank you so much. I read Lady Midnight zonks ago and I forgot to do a review on it, but I did review it for other like wrap ups and hauls and stuff. But I am gonna reread Lady Midnight way down the track. I have it on my to read list. I wanna do like a whole Mortal Instruments like marathon where I just read that. Um, but oh my gosh. Would you trade your soulmate for your soul? A shadow hunter's life is bound by duty, constrained by honor. The world of a Shadow Hunter is a solemn pledge, and no vow is more sacred than the vow that binds Parabati. Warrior partners, sworn to fight together, die together, but never to fall in love. So Emma Carsters has learned that love she shares with a Parabati, Julian, isn't just forbidden, it could destroy them both. Yes, so that's basically the gist of it. We are now following Emma, the next generation, and she falls in love with a Parabati, Julian. You kind of get this a bit through the first book, but it's obviously more expanded on in this book. Dead. Did you know I'm going to be getting um, Mortal Instrument tattoos? Like, I'm going in very soon in the next couple of weeks 
probably in the next couple months, we'll see how we go, to get a tattoo with my best friend Alexandra. And I'm getting five of the model instrument symbols down here. Hey, other two books that I hauled this month. Thank you so much to those two publishing houses for sending them to me. I really hope and do appreciate that I am on them as soon as I can possibly be. So books that I want to read next month, I'm keeping this slab open. I'm gonna see where it takes me because obviously now I'm in a bit of a reading slump. So hopefully I can get back into reading with a cool book. If you have any recommendations of books that are really awesome to read after reading slumps, link them down below. Some things I wanna do in the next month with terms of videos is I do, I have filmed my makeup book tag, which will be going live to the channel probably after this video. Also, um, Book Burbia part two is coming to the channel very shortly. Do keep a lookout for that. It is a very awesome video. I cannot be more excited to share that with you. Film a review on The Silent Invasion, which I read um, just recently, just so good. And also I wanna do a review on the Dog's Purpose book and also relate it to the movie as well. So they're kind of the videos that I wanna get going in the next month um, before, after the next wrap up. In terms of one month from another, nothing really much was posted except the Book Burbia episode that I did. I did a review on Arcane. I was gonna start doing monthly vlogs. I'm so far not gonna do them anymore. I'm actually, when I go away, I'm gonna like vlog that trip and possibly do it that way. Just like after vlogging straight for a whole year, it feels good to kind of giving the vlog a break and only vlogging when you're actually going out to events and going out to things. Just some little updates and what's been happening in my life so far as of recent and why I haven't been able to produce the many videos as I've been wanting to and do as many booktube things and go as many places is the following. So I've currently finished uni and <laughs> I went into a little um, little igloo for like three to four weeks of my life where I was finishing off the final assignments which was you know book burbia but also all the paperwork that had to come with that and then plus I had about three other classes with like three more final assignments to you know all with to do with editing and paperwork and essays and all that stuff so I went kind of into an igloo with four weeks where I wouldn't talk to anyone and I wouldn't emerge from that igloo like between one month going out clubbing and stuff like that I didn't do that for like two months and so yeah I was doing that and I was finishing that plus I had like full-time work as well on the outside where if I wasn't at uni or if I wasn't doing uni work I would be at work working to earn money and <laughs> it's kind of it was a factor of that at the time and then there was also some other things that were happening um, and then also there was a time where you actually had to go out and be a normal person and socialize because you were so into the books that the time for everything else would just be underrun by everything and then there was also the factor of me starting up my own business I love booktube I love doing it but I'm gonna keep it as a hobby because it's something that down the track has gotten me to where I am today in terms of camera equipment in terms of confidence in terms of doing something that I love and speaking about it but it's not something that I see myself in like long term long term being really up and big about that's why like now I'm like working and I'm like you know what mm. so I have started up my own little business which you've probably seen if you followed me on Facebook or that stuff it's called that track media and basically I do motorsport and videography of cars how exciting is that I love it so much um, and I've been over the last couple of months it's been fantastic so yeah I've, I've started my own little business at the age of 20 there's three different things going on in my life right now and booktube is my hobby and what I turn to like reading reading I turn to reading when I want to relax you have a stressful day you read and then you film a video about it if you want to so I'm always gonna do booktube I just might be a bit slow in doing booktube some exciting things that are happening is this room that I currently film in my study that you've probably seen for the last three years and it's gonna be after my trip so in about October this year um, we're actually kind of renovating so I my bedroom now is turning into my study and this is gonna be my bedroom so I my study I'm having like a whole book wall and all my books are gonna be freshly reorganized put on there so I have like a major filming wall of just books which I am beyond excited about because it's gonna look so much better on screen and the other room has so much more light in it which will just be so beautiful and then there'll be like another bookshelf so I'm actually gonna get another bookshelf so there's gonna be like four bookshelves so I'm probably gonna leave my bookshelf tour towards around December this year and then just do like a major new big one but with videos that I want to do apart from the ones that I talked about they're gonna be slow they're gonna be slow but they are still gonna be there I hope you're all having a fabulous day thank you so much for tuning in with me for this 